In 1890, Vincent van Gogh worked on this painting called First Steps, a representation of an intimate scene between a child and her parents. This painting had a special significance for Van Gogh at the time because of the upcoming birth of his nephew to his brother Theo. What is the magic behind a child's first steps? It represents a wonder for the life ahead for the child. In history, there have been many first steps that have been transformative. In 1928, Alexander Fleming invented penicillin, which was the first steps towards heralding a dawn of the antibiotic age. In 1903, the Wright brothers were successful with their first powered flight, lasting just 12 seconds. But many of our first steps happen in our everyday lives. For me, my first steps to adulthood occurred when I arrived in Canada to study mechatronics engineering from the University of Waterloo. Like many of us at that age, I had no clue what I wanted to do with my life. They say that there's three things in university, study, sleep, and party, and you get to pick two. <laughs> well, I decided to pick one and be really good at it. So yeah, I slept a lot. <laughs> but one thing that I fell in love with during my time at university was robotics. The concept of taking an idea and producing it from nothing into its moving real parts was just fascinating, and it consumed me. My family's life and my life took an interesting turn when, a few years ago, my nephew Pranit was born with cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is a neurological disorder that is described by a loss or impairment of motor function. It is the most common physical disability among children, with over 500,000 cases in just the United States. For Pranit, among other things, it meant that he would not be able to walk. For my brother and sister-in-law, as parents, it challenged their entire understanding of childhood. It is a struggle between understanding the disability to its fullest and making sure that your child is not defined by that disability. For me, the thought of my nephew never taking his first steps, never running with other kids on the playground, or never walking down the aisle at his wedding inspired me to find a solution. But after scouring the web, I soon realized that the only option available for children is essentially the wheelchair. Sitting in a wheelchair can have tremendous negative health effects, and it can lower the quality of life for the entire family. They say sitting eight hours a day at work is bad for your health. Imagine how bad it is for a child spending their entire life in the wheelchair. This led my friend Rahul and I to build something for Pranit. We decided to use our love for robotics and combine it with the passion to build something that can be useful and helpful for Pranit. We decided to start Trexo Robotics with the purpose of building robots that can help people walk. Many of our early prototypes failed. We learned a lot from our mistakes about what it takes to build something as complex as, an, as Iron Man for children. The cold intricacies of the design the warm security of the user interface, and the harmonious connection between the two. But one thing that we never did was give up. Many years of R&D, sleepless nights, and countless struggles have brought us here. And I want to introduce Pranit walking. Yeah. Watching Pranith walk is one of our proudest moments. 
what we realized was that we're not building a robot. What we are building is a magic that is only experienced if you see your child take their first steps, and then their first 100 steps, and their first 1,000 steps. And we're proud to be bringing this magic, not just to my family and Pranit, <laughs> but to millions of families all over the world. Of course, this is not possible without an exceptional team. As we are growing, we seek people that have a desire and a passion to solve some of the world's hardest problems. With Pranit, Trexo has taken its first steps as well. As Dr. Hugh Herr has famously said, there is no such thing as a disabled person. There are only disabled technologies. Trexo does not stop with just children. We will use our experience and expertise to build functional and affordable robotic systems for adults with disabilities, for the elderly, and also for all humans. If I'm to leave you with something, it is a Chinese proverb. A journey of a 1,000 miles begins with a single step. Take that first step, because you can. Thank you. <laughs>